It's late November, about two weeks to the break. Everyone's pretty tired. I get an email from Jody. Jody's a member of our Edwin educator team. And she says, the Duff and Peel tech team would love to do something around STEM, design thinking, and in time for the Winter Olympics. What do you think? So, okay, sounds like our kind of challenge. Design thinking is really important for students because it teaches them a set of skills that they can use in solving problems. It was great because they were so open and willing to support and to kind of take our lead, like what can we do from an Edwin perspective to support you? That's where a good design project comes from, is just sitting down and brainstorming. We're not just delivering the lesson to students, but we also want teachers to get something out of this. Empathy, definition, ideation, prototype, testing. We actually went through those stages ourselves when we were designing this lesson. Design thinking processes kind of end at test and prototype. There is like another stage where you have to implement all that work that you've done and then showcase it. We decided that maybe we could try and get our students to design their own skeleton or lose your bobsled track out of reclaimed materials. We reached out to Olympic skeleton racer, John Fairbairn, who also happens to be an engineer. And John answered the call. Every track in the world has its own unique character. There's no two that are exactly alike. That was an amazing run from John Fairburn. We had Nathan Rice, who is amazing at content creation, creating a video that introduced students to each stage of the process. They created learning objects wrapped around each of these videos, which really guided students in understanding what was in the process. Terrific. We were well on our way. We established this breakneck pace. We weren't even sure where we were going to end up, and we didn't know if anyone was going to sign up. But we were sure of the problems we were trying to solve together, and that we were going to learn something along the way. A typical skeleton track is characterized by somewhere between 14 to 20 curves, and there are all kinds of different types of corners. Having John's expertise there really set the stage for both the science and the empathy portion of trying to design a track that would be fast, but also be safe. What was so inspiring was it was all the science they were talking about so casually. These students were saying things to us in the chat like, we knew we had to make the surface smoother because we had to reduce the friction. When we got to that testing and prototyping stage, that's when we really started to see students really take off with the design thinking process. These tracks were amazing. A lot of thought and a lot of design went into it. It almost went viral. I would like to say it went viral. Many students said that the most challenging part of the process was the prototyping, but they also said that was one of their favorite parts of the process. We had 108 educators participate and over 2,700 students. These are students from all across Dufferin Peel. So for students to be learning alongside students in other Dufferin Peel communities, it was unbelievable. And for them to learn from each other because it was their voice that guided that conversation. And on Friday, when they were building, they didn't want to leave. So at the end of the school day, they were like, oh, no, miss, we don't want to go home yet. 